Kivent extends its capabilities in the Kivent Simonk module. The Simonk module gives a complete control over Chipmunk 2D physics engine. This allows us to perform complex collision detection and real-time 2D physics calculations on large number of game objects. We import the Kivent underscore Simonk module and in the KV file we simply add Simonk physics to the list of systems and update the system count. Moving back to main.py, we add the Simonk underscore physics ID in the list of system IDs. Our first physics object is going to be a moon. The moon itself is 60 by 60 in size. The rest is glow, so we are concerned about the moon size. object, we need to add a physics component to our object. This is a physics component. The physics component takes a dictionary as a parameter. This dictionary contains the physics properties of an object. It contains the main shape, the velocity, position, angle, angular velocity, velocity limit, angular velocity limit, mass of the object, and in the end, collision shapes. The collision shape has inner radius, the outer radius, in our case, the moon is 60 in width and 60 in height. The outer radius is half of the circle size, so it's 30, and the mass of the shape is 300. An object can have more than one shapes. A shape can have a different mass than other shape. So shape, all the shapes mass plus the actual mass of an object. So we can have different shapes. Each of them can have different masses. Then we can have offset and collision type. The collision type is important for collision detection. In our case, the moon, ca moon has collision type of 1. Let's say we have another object with a collision type of 2. To handle collision between them, we can declare that if the moon collides or touches the other object, a function triggers. So we can say if 1 collides with 2, that triggers a function. Let's say uh, there are more moons. Uh, one more than one moon and you don't want them to collide with each other they can go through each other without any collision so we declare in that case we declare the group the group is an is is an integer if we say all the moons belong to group one then they won't collide with each other rather go through each other and they will be transparent the elasticity is the bounciness of an object and the friction is how smooth the object is and the shape type is circle. We can play around with these properties to get a better understanding. Let's see the output. Our physics object, the moon, is rendered as expected. It's not doing anything so in the next videos, we will interact with our physics object and apply force to it.